Are we in a housing bubble or a blip? Talk to almost any housing expert and they will likely say the housing market is not in a bubble. This is despite the fact that home prices are soaring at historical highs across the country. In February, prices surged 12% year over year. This is the highest increase since February 2006, right before the housing market crashed, sending home values into a free fall. For buyers waiting for the housing fever to break and home prices to plummet, they might be in for a big disappointment. However, experts say there could be a smaller price correction. Today's housing market is riddled with both good and bad signs. Home buyers today are purchasing for many healthy reasons. Low interest rates, more flexibility to work from home, and increased saving are all rational reasons for buying a house. The frenzy fueled by these factors, combined with fear of missing out, has the potential to create a bubble. So while the housing market is supported by strong fundamentals such as low inventory, high demand, and a risk-adverse lending environment, extreme spikes in home prices could result in some prices rolling back in the near future. Hi, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm known as Mr. Omaha. That's my logo in the upper corner of your screen and I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice. Plus I was honored by the Omaha Area Board of Realtors as being a legend in real estate. But let's talk about, is this a housing bubble or a burst? I don't think it's either one. Um, we could see some prices come back or probably level off, but prices are not gonna go into a free fall. What will probably cause the market to level off is that with the inflationary period that we're in and home prices going up at some point in time and all the money the government's pumping into the economy at some point in time interest rates are going to start going up and when interest rates start going up it will immediately fuel buyer demand in the market because they'll feel like they missed the bottom of the interest rates but in the long run as interest rates go up, it'll slow the surging sales down. But today, let's talk about, are we in a housing bubble or a burst? Post-COVID lifestyles are driving up home values. Bar an enormous influx of homes for sale, today's home prices are based on intrinsic value rather than speculation. Home values are currently driven by low supply and new work from home models due to the COVID pandemic. This allows certain buyers to take their big city paychecks and even winnings from home sales in the most expensive places like Seattle and San Jose to more affordable markets. The result, however, is that it drives up prices in less expensive cities. Long-term buyers are in the best position. There is no exact science to determine when the market will cool and prices become more reasonable. The best that buyers can do is to play the long game. The longer you stay in a home, the better your chances of turning a profit when it's time to sell. But like any rule, there are exceptions. You could buy right before the market pops, sell and turn a nice profit without waiting years for appreciation. But as I said earlier, that's not likely to happen. Uh, prices will probably level off, but I don't believe that they will go down. What happens in the coming months and even years will depend on several factors. The pace of new construction, which we need more of, but lumber prices are going up and cost of skilled labor is going up. So the price of new construction is going up. The strength of the economy. We've had a very strong economy going into and coming out of the pandemic. And as long as the economy remains strong, the real estate market will remain strong. More homeowners willing to sell 
and a waning demand will slow the market down, but that is not likely to happen in the near future. But even with an uptick in new construction, it's unlikely to meet demand. This will keep prices elevated for some time. As far as buyers, people could, who could afford a, pre, a home pre-COVID were most likely still in good financial positions to buy a home during COVID. The downturn in job losses hit low-wage workers the hardest or those who already couldn't afford a home. This means, unless there's a recession, the level of demand likely won't taper off anytime soon. Instead of trying to find the market or wait on the sidelines for something to break, something to break the bully spell, would-be home buyers should make a budget and figure out what they're comfortable with and move forward. Again, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway. I'd love to talk to you about your real estate needs. If you want to buy, if you want to sell, if you want to upsize, if you want to downsize, if you have questions on new construction, if you have questions on mortgages, please give me a call, 402-690-1687. In the meantime, thank you for watching my video and have a great day and be safe.